Hey, oh, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Thanks for tuning in. You know, most of the time when I show a video showing some kind of tactical situation or something you can do in the game, it's usually a pretty good game. Lots of damage, lots of good things happen. But sometimes you're in a game and it's all you can be to just kind of survive and help the team as best you can based on the situation you found yourself in. And that will be one of these kind of videos. We're going to call this one Fighting Withdrawal fighting withdrawal. So I am here in my low tier 8 premium German tank. It's a heavy tank and we are in a tier 8-9 game. So two tier game. I'm bottom but no big deal because the low can handle just about anything that's in this game. And we've loaded into Abbey, spawned in the south as you can see. And I'm going to head over to the west side. Now I get some help. I'm going to get an IS-6 a Defender, a T-34-3, and initially a Scorpion-G. And so we're going to head over this way. Deployment-wise on Abbey with a low, you could go on the 8-9 line. That, that, that's always kind of a dicey situation. It's hard to push in here at this point, especially if they win the Abbey. It looks like we have it, at least for the moment. But the Abbey tends to change hands sometimes, so you can really find yourself in a crossfire in this area here. You can get hit if they get a scout in this bush trying to cross this open area. So it's just really dicey over there. It's also very difficult to flex, uh, especially if you need to get over this way. You've got to go all the way back. Some tanks can get up and over this hump here, but again, that's all cross-fired from the center. So again, it's really difficult to work there, especially with a slower heavy tank. You can see the Oho Super, and we've got quite a few guys there. So I'm going to head over to fight on the west side. And initially, this becomes a bit of a peak of peek boom situation. It's hard to really push in here fast, especially with what we've got and what they've got. So I don't expect to really get swarmed, and we have enough tanks to kind of keep them honest, at least initially. But we know there are IS-3, Type 59, and IS-6 is here. So I'll come up to this corner and at least look down onto the bottom, because one way to lose the west very quickly on either side is to not watch this lower road and allow them to come up and around. And they will do that, especially if they've got the numbers or if they can tell that you're not really paying attention. So I get an IS-6. I'm in a bit of a hold down position right here. I'm a little bit more exposed, I think, than I want to be. And unfortunately, now I see the T-95. So this guy is going to dictate the fight here on the west to a large extent. The defender's behind me, kind of out in the open, getting his rear kicked. I shoot in there. That's going to be a low percentage. I was trying to get to the lower plate, but that's not going to be very easy, even with the low lows accuracy. And he's really covered up now, so let's just see if we can hit the hatch. Nope. Not even close. And I've gone to gold, unfortunately, and I've wasted two gold shots. So the defender's getting rocked. He is attempting to... I don't know what he's doing there, to be quite honest, other than die. So I ignore that for a moment. And the reason I move up here is to see if I can't help up top to reduce these guys. The T-95 is relatively slow, and for the moment, the, uh, the Defender was down there. I get a critical no damage right there, which really sucks. And again, I'm still on my gold. I'm going to wish I had that a little while later. Unfortunately, I should have probably been just shooting AP. So now we're in a bit of a pickle. We've got the T-34-3. The IS-6 has got up in that notch, and the Defender's gone. So I don't know what's going on down here. I fully expect them to be halfway up the road. The good news is they aren't, although they are now moving. So I'll just come in here, put a shot into the IS-6. That's where my gold helps me out to a large extent. I'll bounce the T-95 shot. Try to get another shot in on this guy. Nope. That was attempting to get the track. So fighting withdrawal. One thing I want to do, I need to buy us some time over here. I can tell that we're well outnumbered. My 34-3 buddy has run away. I've just got the IS-6, and right now I'm just trying to track this guy, and he actually hits me in the mantlet and pens. Yikes. With just regular AP, so that thing hits hard. Yep, high, and I am just going to miss, miss, miss on this guy. But what I'm trying to do is whittle him down and start to defend and run away. So I'm unfortunately going to have to leave that IS-6. Already comes in there and hits me. Bounce off the T-30 side, so I am getting really poor RNG. That is a very curved turret right there where I hit it, so it's not that big of a surprise, but it is quite unlucky. And now I'm just going to go ahead and move up here. So I come out of the fighting withdrawal. What you want to do is you want to get back to the next defensible position, and ideally it's a spot like this where you can take a shot and then disappear around some terrain. 
I try to go into the top of his tank and completely miss once again. So the vaunted low accuracy is not helping me out. I'm going to hang out on this corner a little bit longer because I think I can get one more shot on this guy. Nope. Before he actually gets close enough to get one on me. And you'll see that now I will abandon that fighting withdrawal, I'll abandon that spot because he's just going to be able to come around the corner and start pummeling me. And I know that this terrain dips behind me and so I'm going to get a bit of a hold down. I, again, I go for a track and I can't get it. And he's got lots of friends coming up. I could have moved forward and tried to take one more shot, but what I wanted to do is get back to the edge. I need to draw these guys up. I've got quite a few campers, TDs, sitting on our cap. And so I'm just going to back off right here. I knew this spot was here. For a moment I was going to go all the way, and I thought, you know what, I actually what I need to do here is I need to delay these guys. And we need to punish them. So the T95 is probably just going to come droning forward. More good news for me is that their artillery is gone. Now, there's the IS-6, there's the T-95, and we've got the TDs all sitting behind me, and I need the TDs now to start working on these tanks. And for the moment, I'm relatively safe from being shot by them. We also own the Abbey, so I cannot be shot from the Abbey, so this spot is okay for the moment. If they get into this part of the lower town, or lower Abbey, I can be in trouble here, so I'm just kind of paying attention to what's going on. The IS-6 foolishly decides to come after me, and I make a mistake right there. I thought he was going to come off the edge. I should have stayed where I was, but that's fine. We got the IS-6 out. A little bit wedged right here, trying to figure out how to get my tank turned around. And now I am going to push back up and around. So fighting withdrawal, held as long as I could, mistake as far as coming off right there, but it looked like I needed to. I didn't want him to drive over top of me and start crushing me. Hindsight's always 2020, but I'm going to come back around and start to get lights for these TDs again. Initially I thought I might need to go down to the IS-3, but I decided let's go up top and light these guys. 295 is actually moving up, so I'll put a shot in him as I go. He takes another hit. I say, hey, he's actually still sitting there. Let me back up and see if I can get one more shot on him. He sees what's going on, unfortunately, and I bounce. And the game is still in the balance. We've got the IS-3 there, still a couple TDs, or at least one anyway, still alive. The Scorpion has shifted. He's up in the town. Looks like the T-95 is actually busy trying to shoot him right now. IS-3 is below, and I don't know where the type went. So I'll come around here and foolishly shoot him in the side. I should have shot him in the back. If I'd have shot him in the back, even at that angle, I probably would have pinned. He's not spinning on me, so I'll just come up here and make sure he dies, but someone else get, gets him. And now we have done some decent work on this flank. Now, in this game, that T-95 is going to do some pretty large carry action over there. He really wrecks them. So I am just holding this flank so that we don't get three or four tanks pushing up onto our cap. And that's what I started while talking at the beginning is, you know, sometimes you're only going to have a 1,700 damage game. You're being all you can be to get that, but it still is a critical cog in the win. And I already talked about one mistake. I'm going to make a pretty big one here. I'm going to come down. I waited for a while because I didn't know where the 59 was. I'm pushing into it. I knew that IS-3 was there, and then I find him. And unfortunately, I just fire on the run. I hit him in the side, and now I know I'm in big trouble right here. I come in for the ram to get some damage off of him. I'm going to get one more shot onto that hatch, and then he just loads gold and blasts right through me. And I end up dying right there. But it was enough to hold that edge, even with all the mistakes. Sometimes when you get to a situation like that on a flank and you realize you can't hold it where you are, you've got to pick your retreat carefully and then just start moving backwards. And a lot of times, the sooner the better on that. If it's too early, it's more like running away or repositioning if you're actually going to go to a whole different flank. But with a slow tank like the slow, the low, the luva, the lava, whatever the heck it is, Sometimes you've just got to take what you've got, slowly retreat, shoot as you go, try to track guys, try to keep some terrain between you and them, and then bring them back to the guns that are camping on the cap. I hope this helped. Hope you like what you see. Make sure you subscribe if you liked it, and we will see you.